Hey, happy Friday. I'm very glad to see you again today, reading the Gospel of John. Uh, yesterday, Jesus gave us a new commandment. You shall love one another. Right as I have loved you, so you shall love one another. People will know the kingdom of God. They will know me because of how you love the world. And the guys around the table uh, are like, yeah, I get it. Right, I, I, I get it, and, and I'm, I'm with you, because I love you. Can you imagine being in, in, in the same room with Jesus like that, right, in a real material way, uh, and, and the amount of love you have for him after seeing what he's done and the way in which he's treated you and taught you and, like, opened your eyes to the world? It must have been extraordinary. In Jesus, now we're in chapter 13, verse 36, uh, we find this conversation between Simon Peter and Jesus. Simon Peter says to Jesus, Lord, where are you going? He's curious because Jesus is where I'm going, you cannot come. Uh, and Jesus answers him, where I'm going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow me afterwards. So that's super good news. What is true for Peter is true for you and me as well, but so is the second part. Peter says to Jesus, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Now, we see this like when, when Peter cuts off the ear of uh, Malchus, the high priest's servant. Uh, we see that Jesus, Peter's ready to fight, but he missed the point. He's still thinking about Jesus as the warrior Messiah who's going to conquer the Romans. He hasn't twisted his mind to the bigger Messiah that changes the world, that saves all humanity through love. And eternal presence. Peter hasn't picked that up. So he says, I'm going to go fight for you. I'll go with you. I'm going to lay down my life if you're leaving me here because you think I'm too afraid. You're wrong. I will lay down my life. And Jesus says, you do not get it. You will lay down your life for me. Right? But very truly, I tell you, uh, and then you don't get it. And then he calls him out. He says, will you lay down your life for me? Really, Peter? Because before the croc cock crows three times, you'll have denied me. And, you know, I, I, think, I think in the heat of the moment, um, I, at least I know with me, uh, I tend to be wildly enthusiastic. And, and what I say, I believe to the core of my being. And then sort of the circumstances shift, like Peter, when he followed the beloved disciple Lazarus and Jesus into the Caiaphas' house. And he comes on, and he's there sort of on the periphery. And the woman asks, are you with him? You're a Galilean for sure. And he denies it, and he denies it, and he denies it, right? Because our circumstances can cause us to be both enthusiastic and committed and then tepid. And afraid. And so it's, it's very hard to peel apart in our lives our capacity to be steadfast at all times and to trust the Lord at all times. And what does it mean to trust the Lord with our lives? How do we delude ourselves in saying that we prioritize God when maybe we don't, when maybe I don't? I wonder about that. And the place to start wondering about that is washing people's feet. Whose feet do I wash and how well do I do that? How well do I honor those relationships and call out the best in the people with whom God has sent me? And who do I judge and how do I judge myself or not judge myself in these relationships? We're going to see how this breaks Peter's heart later this inconsistency that he experiences. You and I will die in the Lord. That's for sure. Just like Peter died in the Lord, just like all people die into God's eternal life. Remember Jesus said, eternity is the commandment that I proclaim to all people. Eternity. But usually the thing that calls us away from our relationship with Jesus is our lack of trust in that. Our lack of trusting that God put us in a particular place with a particular people. So, as you head into the weekend, I want to invite you to consider moments of great enthusiasm and commitment, and then wonder what kind of life cycle that has, and then ask yourself, where do I sit with my enthusiasm for my relationship with Jesus? 
How do I trust in him? Something to pray about. I look forward to seeing you when I see you. You are in my heart. You are in my prayers. I love you. Peace upon your souls.